What's going on guys? I'm getting ready to put the Pulsar Thermion thermal scope on my 22 to uh, kill some beaver. Just got an old shoe box here. Actually a boot box. And uh, hot hands. So I have a target for the thermal. Give this about three or four minutes, I'll start putting off some heat. We'll have a target for the thermal. Got the pulsar mounted up. Got the pulsar mounted up on the 22. Sets a little bit high, but it's fine because we're not shooting fast moving tar targets when we're uh, beaver hunting. Got this secured down, let that get warmed up. We'll go put the box out there and uh, fire a few shots at the box first, get it pretty close. And I've got some steel plates hanging over there that have been out in the sun all day, so those will start putting off some heat. We'll shoot some of those. Uh, not getting too dialed in here, just want it to be a minute of beaver. That's all we need. And uh, we'll get this bad boy sighted in pretty quick. Pretty simple, pretty quick to sight in these thermions. We'll get it sighted in. Uh, like I mentioned in the past videos, got quite a few farmers, quite a few landowners calling me needing some beaver removed. So we'll attempt to save some money on ammo here. and get this thermion mounted up sighted in on the the 22 i've got tons of 22 ammo so we'll go that route i've got quite a few different creeks uh, that i shoot beaver on and i can get it pretty close to the beaver on those creeks so it makes it pretty nice the thing about this mount is it's real easy to take it from my 22 put it right back on the 6.5 grindle for those larger lakes where i need to take further shots carry some more energy out there to those bigger beaver and be able to kill them in the lakes but on the creeks man this is the way to go super quiet uh, probably shoot some subs at some of these beavers and uh, it'll be fun. You guys need to make sure and stay tuned. Looks like a little bit to the right. Not too bad though. Old bow target laying down over here. Yeah, elevation's good. Just need to change that windage. Come over to the left a little bit, and she'll be good. We'll hit some of these still plates after that. This will be a good one. It's definitely hit that. That's definitely meant the beaver. So now what we'll do. And get this right on the target if I can. Quit hitting it. It's close enough. So now what we'll do is we'll go to the menu. Hard to see in the daylight. Go to zero wing. Only at about 30 yards, which is fine for a 22 on what I'm doing. I go to windage and elevation. Our Y coordinate is good. We need to change our X. So then we go over to where our miss was, which is about right there. Hit that. And we should be good. Zero ring coordinate saved. Go back. All right, made some changes in the scope. Should be really close now. Let it round in. 
Let's see where it's at. I'm going to shoot two right there. Shoot two right there. Let's go take a look and see. See what we did there. Look at that. Stacked them. First shot was right here. You guys saw that. Made an adjustment. Maybe adjusted just a tad bit too far over. But you can imagine shooting at a beaver. Beaver's going to be bigger than this hot hand. Look at that. Next one. Next one. What we do there? Two shot zero. One. Found out where it was at. Made an adjustment. There was a second. We're good. Let's hit some of these steel plates. That's why you gotta love Pulsar, man. That's just too easy. Too easy to side in. Same process for big calibers, too. It's too simple. I'm gonna turn the camera to these steel plates now. Now we'll go for the smaller steel plate. Boom. Boom. Beaver might be in trouble. <laughs> about 65 yards now. Gonna shoot at that bigger plate first. See if we have any drop. Got that one. Let's go to the small plate. These things are so much easier to focus when it's dark out. They definitely still work in daylight though. A little low on that one. Felt that. There it is. 65 yards or so. It's a little small plate. Good. We are good to go kill some beaver. Shooting just some CCI standard velocity. Scope sets a little bit high on this 22 just because of this mount I have that's designed for an AR, of course, but I've had it on here before and it works just fine. Just got to kind of put my 
cheek in a different spot wouldn't be ideal for long range shooting but for a 22 and shooting beaver fairly close it works perfectly fine so before you experts get on here and start commenting why is your scope setting so high there's your answer because <laughs> i know it's coming try to hit this little spinner over here to the left little bitty target right here Oh, barely clipped it. There it is. Not enough power to spin it from here. All right, guys, that's it. We got the 22 sided in with the Thermion XP50 on top. You saw it there. Uh, one shot to find out where we're hitting at. One shot later after an adjustment and we're right on target. It's that simple every time with the Thermion XP50. That's why I love Pulsar, just awesome products. This was sighting in the 22. This goes the same way for sighting in big bore guns. Uh, 6.5 Grendel, 308, all that stuff that I put it on in the past. Super simple, super easy. Tracks every single time just like you want it to. Uh, we're ready to go kill some beaver. So we're going to head out tonight, I hope, and uh, go set up on one of these creeks. Actually, just looked at it today. Rode my electric bike over there, and uh, looks like plenty of fresh signs. So as long as the wind's okay, uh, we'll be over there tonight trying to help out this local farmer, and uh, we'll go from there. Make sure and like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything in the future. Appreciate you guys being here. Happy hunting. Be safe. See ya. Bye.